Ladies and gents, Crafty Loz's bar is open. Oh yeah. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the craft beer section of Wine Jam. Okay, we're here with uh, Crafty Loza and some cash. Oh yeah. The first one we're going to be trying is the Pale oh, Armadillo. This is from a company called Tempest Brewing. Quite interesting. This is actually made in Scotland and it uses American hops, North America. Could be quite interesting. It's a pale ale, alcohol content 3.8. Not to get you too drunk. It's so a session beer. Session, yes. Yes. All day drinking. Well, not all day. We don't we condone that. <laughs> it's a light bodied pale ale, so let's do it. This is the fun part for me. Go. Not too much of a oh. head. It's more like a test tube, isn't it? So it's Colour. Fizz. It's fizzy. Colour. It's nice. Golden. Well, what do you usually find with the colour? Does it make any difference or not? Or? It gives you an idea what the taste will be like, I'd say. Um, so, unlike wine. Paler, the more citrus flavours. Darker, the more sort of caramel and coffee. For Brittany. Cheers. For Brittany. This is what you're missing out. Oh, that's nice on the nose. Really quite aromatic, floral. I mean, this is from a wine perspective. I had a cheeky taste of it. Yeah. <laughs> there was me thinking I was drinking wine. Mm. <laughs> that is lovely. It's really soft. It's not a heady kind of ale that I've usually come across. It's still the aromatic on this nose is the same as similar on on the palate. I think mm. it's light. Uh, it's that light floral, very crisp, and it's got a lot of fruit. The like marmalade flavour is yeah. there. It's a slightly orangey stone fruits. Oh really? Mm. This is beautiful. I bet the cameraman can't wait to try this. Very easy drinking, and it is that session kind of ale. Yeah, what would you rate that out of ten? Uh, very high. I think this is fantastic. This is brilliant. I will buy lots of this. So I'll, I'll give it eight out of ten. Gonna go with more like five. I think it's all right. I think it's got some flavour. I just don't think it hits above mm. what I would go for. That's just me. Ah, it's brilliant. <laughs> mm. oh. all right, this is one I'm really looking forward to. Um, it's from a company called Lagunitis. As you can see. Sounds like a meningitis. <laughs> uh, I, think it's, I think it's a beach in California. <laughs> yeah, quite like The Lagunitis uh, Brewing Company. They actually make quite a lot of beers. The reason why I'm looking forward to this is because I'm a big fan of their regular IPA. Uh, it's just, it's just delicious. It's is that fantastic. a nine? Is that a nine on the scale of one to ten? Yeah, it's nine. It's just Ooh. brilliant. It's highly alcoholic, but it's just brilliant. It's, yeah. So this one here is daytime. I think I read something saying that it's perfect after the, after a day's work. So um, isn't most ales? Anyways? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's how they marketed it anyway. Yeah, uh, so yeah, this is an IPA. Alcoholic content is four point six five percent. So it's not too bad actually. That's no, so, an average kind of. Ale. Yeah. So this one here is a medium-bodied beer. So let's go for it. All right, languitas, like meningitis. That's how you need to remember it, people. I promise you, you don't get meningitis <laughs> yeah. from this. <laughs> you get confused, go up to the bar. Can I have some meningitis, please? If you're like, we're not serving you, I think we're over the limit. Don't pour a little bit of that in there. No. Oh, no, I'll do that. I'm not that horrible. You just have less wine next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Peach, plums, touch of apricot, nectar, the amber nectar. It's okay. It's rubbish. I don't like it. It's got a bit of spritz. It's just, um, it's got a slight citrusy to it and it's got a bit of lemoniness to it, but it, apart from that, it's got bugger all, basically. It's a very light. It's okay. I, I suppose it's, it's not, I was expecting quite a lot from this and it's not really ticking all the boxes. How would you rate it? Two, touching on one. I think there might be something wrong with the actual ale. That's how bad I think it nah. is. Is it out of date? No, it's not out of date. Yeah, you can tell how good this is because we've gone that quiet, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think it's okay. It's not as bad. I'd, I'd say five. I expect some yeah. more. This is the... Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I love the, the IPA. So it's totally different from this. Stronger and fuller, but more full-bodied. Wish you'd bought that instead. Mm. Well, next time. <laughs> Mind you, I did make you drink off wine. Drink up. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. 